In fifth grade, Mother Aloysius glared it on the PA in the classroom. Sister Bridget clarified that now we know who was the true soldier of Christ as she marched us to the schoolyard, school bags, and coats left behind. This is the line she pointed out. The commies will be on one side, the martyrs for the faith on the other. I looked carefully to see if the reds had come yet. Oh, that was unusual was that Father Mahoney had marched out the boys and they were behind us as they were clicked to the other side. It was the same white line that separated the basketball court from the rest of the yard. Mother Aloysius blared in the bullhorn, get in size places. I did a quick examination of conscience look to the far field where they would come. I stepped to the center of the white line, raised my head to the heavens and said, Father, I'm ready. <laughs> Columbus's frustration. <laughs> It had taken him so long to get the ships, the provisions, the free ships were ready, the crews raring to go. It was the last opportunity to load supplies. It was the good time to sail straight to the Canaries and be swept across by the winds. How could it be that it wouldn't be from Cadiz? They couldn't sail from there that August 3rd. The port was full, he was told. What were all those ships? Who were all those people boarding? The Jews, he was told. It was the deadline for them to leave, August 2nd, 1492.